Stewart. I've watched this game unfold and I've said to myself, what do we need to look at here? And it's from where the scoring launches start. And Hawthorne, particularly in that first quarter, without having really been able to look at the figures, they just appeared to be coming deep out of defence. Gary, it's funny you say that. This isn't a common stat we usually deliver, but uh, score launches from the defence at 50. Unbelievable, Gary. Can you tell me what that means? Well, that's where the chain originated from and ending up in the score. And Hawthorne, five score launches from the defence at 50 opposed to Carlton. Zero for Carlton not, not one, not one score launch from Carlton. Not from the defence of 50, Gary. Five score launches out of Hawthorne's defence. Unbelievable. You need to tell me, Bootsma and Watson, two young blokes out of the back half. What's their kicking efficiency? Well, Watson tracking at 40%, Gary. 40? And Bootsma at 33 oh, now. 33 and 40. The AFL average in the defence okay. of 50 is 72. Well, to drill home, let's just pick out two random names from Hawthorne. You know, let's like, say a Burgoyne and a Guerra who are playing a similar role in the back half. They're at the other end of the scale. One hundred percent kicking efficiency. Both Gary, of them are at one hundred percent. That's unbelievable. So there you go. That gives you a snapshot into what we're witnessing tonight. That's what we'll continue to look for in the second half. I don't think you could have wrapped that up any better than that. Let's go to the uh, Twitter. We always like to see it. Uh, this is um, our man from um, Ireland, uh, Sean Kelly. He says, "I always listen for the Two and Wolf show because no matter how good the commentary is in the first half." It just succinctly wraps the game up in a nutshell, and that's what I appreciate. Well, we appreciate that, Sean. Thank you so much. Um, so lots of that sort of stuff coming through. I'll get to uh, the Chief and find out what actually happened in the Chew and Show. Sean because Shane, it goes with both. Because what Chief does is witness the uh, preparation, which is normally, Correct. Chief, um, Gary wanting to tell a story so, after he knows the stats so sure, that the I stats guess. then... Take Help his story. As a compliment, I'll tell you, you what you didn't see, Jim. Trying to talk us down, take it as a compliment. He got all the stats that he wanted. Yep. Chill wrote them on a bit of paper. Then he pretended to pluck two random names, which were the only two names written on paper mm. that had the stats there. That's it. Then he picked two more random ones, which were the only two there that they'd already prepared. Listen. He asked questions knowing the answer, no, that's it. and no. he just tries to pump his own no, tyres up. That's a strong that's accusation. It. So let me is answer it, that. It a fraud it's not an accusation, it's a fact. No, because what we did was highlight the young Carlton defenders. So who are the young Carlton defenders? I'm Jim? just talking about the preparation you put in. Well, they're boots for the and Wolf show. So they're the two we went with. Well, Gary, I, I can surmise this quite easily. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. We've cracked the code, Justin. <laughs> that's what we've oh, done. No. Is he talking to me? <laughs> oh, no. Don't go I think he was. Chua. I think he was. Don't go too hard, Chua. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we've cracked the code too, true man. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Carlton hierarchy is sitting around listening to your summary. Of Can that we swap chairs, Gary? What code? No, the, well, that's why you, you're, not, you're on another length, uh, wavelength to us because we're operating. You're right there. <laughs> we're operating <laughs> at a very high level. I think we've got a sub, by the way. I can see a sub walking around the boundary line for the Carlton Footy Club now. The boots, mate. What? The boot it is. I was just going to say, I'm going to dance on um, Howie's parade, but you oh, just did it. He's not down there yet, Howie. He's uh, just getting himself uh, geared up. Dancing but on his parade, guys. The boot's down there. We can see he's the most obvious man. Uh, he's down there. Of course he's down there. Howie, thanks yeah. to Cartridge. Yes, Gary. Yeah, what do you reckon that is, Jim? Uh, I'm talking fish. about the boot in his... Uh, <laughs> Red top here. Anyway, down to Howie. And Chief, you can dance on a parade or you can rain on it. It depends on what well, sort of... Uh, well, no, you can no dance on a grave or you can rain well, on a parade. Well, this is a combination of both. <laughs> okay. Right? And uh, Bootsma happened to be subbed after some really serious analysis in the Chew and Wolf show, so... 33% by Make of that what you will, you boys. It's just a flog-off. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is, uh, Duke. It's on a new level. It has. Just it has, and oh, it's disturbing. Cool. It, it is disturbing that hey, uh, the Chewers sort of really bought into it too in a ferocious way. We're not buying in anything. We pointed out something that has obviously been obvious, obviously been <laughs> oh, no. obviously apparent yes. to the Carlton hierarchy, and they've agreed with us, mm. and he's been subbed.